Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my capture of Mesh 827, also known as NGC 6853. My name's Rob, this is Seven Skies Astro. Now, M27, uh, the Dumbbell Nebula, commonly known as, or the Apple Core. Now, I prefer the Apple Core because when you actually look through it, through a telescope, it actually looks like a little Apple Core. Um, it's really quite bright, magnitude 7.5. Um, it's around about 1400 light years away and a, approximately around about a light year in diameter. Now, this, as I was saying, I've captured this um, I got three hours of HA and, and three hours of O3, which I added to my red, green, and blue. Now I captured it with my Skywatcher Quattro 8, on, eight inch at 800 millimeter focal length using my Player One uh, Saturn M camera with my Anglia red, green, and blue filters. Now I, I got. Um, about uh, an hour and a half. I will check the data and when I show you that me processing, I'll, I'll tell you me where the capture times then. So uh, yeah, and I added some HA and some O3 data. So I'm gonna crack on and I'll show you what I, on the computer. So I'm in pics and sight. Now I got an hour of red an hour of green and an hour of blue and a blue it looks really bad these were all two minute subs roughly 30 subs each i've combined them and come up with this that's just a unstretched image at the minute now after using the normal process of dynamic background extraction, blur exterminator and colour calibration. I removed the I stretched and removed the stars and then I've come up with this. There's a, quite a lot of stars in there still be but I didn't want to reduce the stars because I'll lose the central star in the centre. Now that was the red, green and blue data, three hours worth. Now I got an hour's worth of HA and an hour and a half of O3. The O3 data are five minute subs, while as the HA were only two minute subs. Now I combine them uh, actually, I, I, uh, because they were in different, different nights and a slightly different uh, rotation. See, you can see, look, this they don't, uh, they didn't match. So I've registered the HA to the O3 and stretched them, and there we have. Just a, just a basic stretch. All I've done is stretch them and a little bit of blur exterminator. And they're, stretch, they're registered to each other. And what I did then is with this one, I registered these two to this image, which gives me this. You can see that up there, there's a, that they're not quite. But it's important for later on when I'm rescreening them. So I'll give I put them together, just a HA and O3 into the a who palette, and you see there's still gradients in there. So what I've done is I took the stars out. <clears throat> excuse me. Took the stars out and give me the starless. And then, using masks, I use this 
range mask to just to darken the background a little bit and bring out the the wings i would say and then another range mask for the centers to stop the center blowing out now after doing that i'm playing with the curves and instagram i've come up with excuse me let's get that i've come up with the final image of adding the stars in of this now the red green and blue stars but with the who nebulosity and i i i would probably want to be be best m27s if you look at what i normally get and most people usually just do this these this is what you see with the eye and it, it really is uh, an excellent one to look at with your eye because it, it there's a there's an apple cory there you don't see so much the the this tealy color but you do see almost like an x so and that's what you what i've come up with so that's three hours of the stars and two and a half of just the nebulosity of m27 so there you have it it's um it's not bad i've managed to get a lot of the uh the really faint glow which uh, it, you don't get visually and i if you look at the two, two two images the visual image and the one with the added ha and o3 uh, i think it's quite i'm really quite pleased with it so that's it for today's video i'd like to thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and uh, give it a like and a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one where i'm going to be doing a dark nebula so i'll see you in the next one keep well and clear skies and i'll see you next time